Today we are going to discuss the Justice Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First Justice Coat of Arms to discuss is from feudal times, very old one, very lozengy of six, and it's untinctured. We assume the tinctures of ore and azure here. This belonged to Reginald Justice of Kent, England, who was alive in the 13th century. Next, we have Azure, a sword and pale proper, supporting a pair of balances or, within a border of the last, crest a sword proper. This was for the Justice family of East Crichton in Edinburgh, Scotland. There was James Justice, born 1698, a Scottish horticulturist and botanist, son of James Justice, born 1663, who was principal clerk of the Sessions, and grandson of James Justice, or Justic, a merchant of East Crichton. And it is said of James Justice that he reportedly had a passion for botanical experiments, which he pursued at the expense of his finances and family. His divorce and expulsion from the fellowship in the Royal Society has been blamed on the expense he put into greenhouses and soil mixtures. Next we have Vert, a bend ermine coticed ore between two falcons rising of the third. This is for the Justice family of Knighton in Staffordshire, England, Luke Justice of Newport in County Shropshire, and of Knighton in Stafford, alive in the year 1664, brother of William Justice of London, the haberdasher, they were sons of Roger Justice, grandsons of Henry Justice, and great-grandsons of William Justice of Newport. Luke married into the Cotton family and had issue William, Roger, John, Luke, Thomas, Alice, Mary, and Abigail. Um, the blazon here is incorrect, um, but the arms itself is correct, and it is the arms of... Thomas Justice of Reading, Clerk of the Law in the year 1526. We have Argent on a Fess engrailed sable, three crescents or between three turtle doves proper, peaked and membered ghouls. This was granted in 1551 to Mary Justice of Reading, wife of John Yate of Lyford and daughter and heir of William Justice, who died in 1521 of Southampton and Reading in County Berkshire, a member of Parliament. There was also Richard Justice of Reading in Berkshire, who died in 1548, a member of Parliament, Alderman, Mayor, and Groom of the Wardrobe to Queen Catherine of Aragon, the son of Henry Justice of Reading. Sable of Fess Ermine between three crescents or crest on a garbor, a cock ghouls. This belonged to the Coventry family from Warwickshire. It was granted to an individual there um, in the late 1500s or early 1600s. Wasn't able to ascertain who it was granted to. I did find there was a Goodman Justice who died in 1651 who was buried in a town or parish that was 25 miles away from Coventry. Next, we have a couple that we weren't unable that we were unable to identify. Ghouls, a chevron and grail between three falcons' heads or ghouls, a chevron between three leopards' faces or crest, a cat sagent rampant proper. And ghouls on a cross cooped argent five mullet sable. This one looks rather old given its simplicity. And I'm going to discuss a few other families that probably owned one of the coats of arms that we weren't able to identify. The first Justice of Hinstock in the Royal Navy. There was Henry Justice of Hinstock in Shropshire. He was born in 1790, the son of Philip Justice Esquire grandson of Philip Justice Esquire, and the great-grandson of William Justice. He had brothers Philip, Robert, William, and John. John was rector of Eitfield and was alive in 1848, had an M.A. Um, and we know that Henry had a son, William, Philip William of the 55th Regiment, and we know that Henry, for his crest, bore a falcon. Um, didn't say what his arms was. I wasn't able to, to figure it out. There was also Robert Justice, who died in 1867, commander of the British Royal Navy, son of Captain Philip Justice of Queen Square Bath, and the brother of Lieutenant General William Justice, who died in 1868. 
There's also Major General William Clive Justice. Um, he was a companion of the most distinguished order of St. Michael and St. George in 1881. So uh, he had son, or he was son of General William Justice. And it goes all the way back to Philip Justice, who died in 1792, dockyard staff in the Royal Navy. And there was also Major Phil General Henry Annesley Justice, Major Philip Justice, and Captain George Strachey Clive Justice, who died in 1882. There was also Justice of Yorkshire. Henry Justice, who died in 1763, was Lord of the Manor of Ruforth in Yorkshire. He attended Cambridge and was called to the bar in 1727, so he was some sort of attorney or lawyer or judge. Um, he was exiled for stealing books and retired in Italy and died at The Hague. He was son of William Justice, an attorney, and relative of Emmanuel Justice, a merchant who was sheriff of the city of York in 1692, and second son of Richard Justice, in holder of York. There's also William Justice, citizen and haberdasher of London, who we mentioned before, John Justice of Colne in Wiltshire, a member of Parliament in the 15th century, John Justice of Balins Kellogg in County Kerry, Ireland, gentleman whose will was proved in 1767, Patrick Justice, a town councillor of Perth in Scotland, live in the year 1567, and Robert Justice, a merchant of Glasgow, Scotland, live in the year 1673. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.